Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. In this session we are going to see a set of formatting in uh, Excel. As we know these are all cells. Right now all these cells are equally spaced. Now I am changing the width of some cells. I am changing the height of some cells. This is the width, this is the height. So you can change the width and height of any row or any column. It depends upon your wish, the way you want to format. At the same time, now in this cell, I am typing, hello, how are you? Uh, I am fine. So I type this. I am increasing the zoom part of it. But the thing is, I typed everything here but it displays as though I have typed in all these cells. But if you look at here, this is the cell that has the value. If you select this cell, it has no value. This cell doesn't have a value. Whereas the moment I select this, you see it is overlapping with all this. What I want is, I want to make sure the whole stuff is getting displayed right here. Okay? There are different ways. If you go to this view, if you go to this view tab, there are different ways that you can make sure how it looks in terms of the custom views. But this is a basic fundamental uh, display part of it. So what you can do is you can come over here and right now it's all getting aligned in some way. Look at this one. There is a, if you look at this example, this is called wrap text right now the text is displayed in one line if you want to wrap the text just click it now the whole stuff is displayed only within this line okay now I increase the height of this what happens is when I increase this it is displayed at the bottom most I want to display at the top if you want to make it look at the top you can use some of this this is called the top align by default this bottom align is, uh, is set. Now if you say top align, it aligns at the top. Now to be very sure, so now bottom portion is empty, top portion is there. By default it is bottom align. If you want to center align, you can do this way, middle align, so it aligns at the middle. So equal space at the top and the bottom. Now if I move this way, okay, what happens is, I'm increasing this. Now the text is left aligned. If you want to right align, you can do this one. Then the text goes to the right. If you want to do at the center, you can do this. So this is using these three but icons. This is called horizontal alignment. Using these three, this is called vertical alignment. If you want that to display in slanting, you can use this. But again, angle counterclockwise right you can do this it displays right here right so it displays something like a slanting one but most of the time we may not use this because we may not like it okay so it is uh, it's your wish if you want to undo press control z control z or control z is the one that undoes the last operation that you have done so the moment you resize automatically it aligns itself so if you want to do right alignment left alignment center alignment top or bottom or middle you are free to do that and then you can wrap the text also this is extremely useful when you format some of the cells at the same time if you want to merge these cells to one single cell right now this is cell this is a cell this is a cell each one is separate. If you want to merge these three, select them. There is always a merge option. Okay, So you can say merge. Now, you can merge and center. There are multiple ways to do that. Merge across, merge cells. Now if you click on this merge cells, this becomes one cell. Okay, You, you will see G4, G6, but you won't see a G5 you don't see a H5. This is actually the position of H5, but you will see only F5, the whole cell. F5 takes G5 and H5. This becomes one cell. So you can do merging of these things. 
if you don't want control Z it goes back but you can do only a few things till the last save point now if you want to redo that control Y control Y is redo control Z is undo now I have merged this again for each cell as we have seen before you can change the font you can change the background color you can change the font color everything it's absolutely available so nutshell you can increase the width and the height of any row or any column you can change the alignment of any cell you can wrap the text you can merge cells you can unmerge cells this is one of the essential set of features you will be dealing in Excel every day because the report format that your management expects is always different from company to company from project to project Excel provides all those facilities to you with that, we end this session. Thanks for visiting openmentor.net.